Hey everyone, this is Ian. I've got another time-lapse video here. Uh, this time it's a life study. So a life study of an apple. Uh, there's a speaker behind it. So that's what the other thing is. And this took me about an hour and 45 minutes to do. Um, and typically this is how I'll do them. I, I start with you know line work and I try to get it as close as possible to what's in front of me. Although there is some fixing along the way. I don't worry too much about that stuff. Doing the line work for a study like this is, is good, I think. Um, it's good to be able to draw as well and not just paint. And especially if you haven't had a lot of experience painting with shapes and stuff like that. Um, or using shapes to start. Being able to draw better uh, usually equates into a better painting. It also serves as a good base, so from the line work you could just fill in, which is what I did, fill in the colors, the base colors, and then do your lights and shadows you know, on top of that. The apple is actually a rotten apple. I know it doesn't look very rotten. I think it's because the light I used was like a yellowish light. I actually have this light bulb. It's a color changing light bulb with a remote, so I can just very easily uh, change the light setup uh, as far as color, and that, that helps if you want to try to do you know, different stuff or you're trying to paint something in a personal piece and you want to kind of see what does a red, really saturated red look like in blue light, let's say, you can very easily set that up. Um, and this is all advice I I obtained from Dave Raposa, which I'm sure most of you have heard of. Uh, but yeah, his recommendations, you know, to study in this way, I, I'm not sure as far as technique, but um, this does really help you understand, you know, the light better and how to wrap the forms. And he talks about that in a lot of his, uh, you know, like his realism painting and stuff. Um, so check that stuff out. If you haven't seen it, I'd highly recommend it. So what do I use this study for? Pretty much I would set up this light in a way that it is something like the piece I'm working on. So um, I would say this one is for a particular illustration. I have a similar light setup where it's it's kind of a three, three or four. This one, I guess, is four. So it's got the rim light in the back, which is from a window. Uh, it's got the main light, which is the desk lamp light. Uh, it's got some bounce light from the paper. Um, you know, bouncing it back up. And also from the table, I guess, too. And also bounce light from the speaker. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't go super detailed on this. You know, I, I didn't want to spend all day doing it or anything, so. Just an hour and 45 minutes, um, relatively quick study, just to get the idea. And that's all there is. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up if you want. If not, that's cool. Um, if you want to leave a comment, you know, below, I appreciate any feedback. Uh, I'm trying to grow, you know, the channel and uh, all of my social media, so... Yeah, much appreciated. Uh, I do have a Patreon page that I set up. If you're interested in getting um, my PSD files, which is the only current reward I have up, I'm gonna add more. Um, probably video tutorial type stuff, or maybe just like this, where I kind of talk about what I'm doing, what I'm going through. Um, and my hope is that it helps uh, someone who might not know you know, some of the stuff that I've learned, so uh, that's the idea. Anyway, I'll leave links for everything below, and uh, thanks a lot for watching.